morning, is, uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and it's, uh, uh, it's, it's a pleasure and honor to, uh, to be able to talk to you this morning. Uh, I, I thank you so much for the, your kind introduction. Uh, Anil, also, I thank you so much, uh, and Arabian Business, for, for this, uh, the promotion of the so-called, you know, the digital move that we are going through. It's interesting that, um, that I think in the past we used to have, you know, developed countries and developing countries I think at the, with this digital change, there is no more developed countries and developing countries. It's moving so, with so much speed and openness that there's no borders, there's no, no laws that apply, almost no government regulation that applies, which means that it's, it's fabulous. And that's why you see that, that, that the Middle East with its 200 million young people, they're really out there, you know. YouTube is their, is their TV set. And, and, and the social media because, you know, they reach to freedom, they reach, uh, reach their dreams, they connect with the world, and it's just overnight, so fast. So therefore, I'm so happy that at least in the digital age, we in the Middle East, we're not going to be classified as a developing countries or developed countries, we're all one, which is really fabulous. Um, it's interesting, I think, if you read the Financial Times yesterday, um, where, where I guess now Electrolux, they're trying to do uh, what they, they, they're planning to provide a service where uh, sharing of, uh, of your laundry, which means that your, the laundry that you buy, the laundry machine that you buy from, uh, from uh, Electrolux, while, excuse me, while you wash your underwear, now you can share it probably with some guy from some other neighborhood or girl from other neighborhood to, to wash her laundry in the same machine. This is crazy, right? So if you ask me, you know, why I'm doing this and why are you all doing this, it's because of this change. And with this change, I think, especially every one of you, I think every one of us want to be relevant, right? We must be relevant to what's happening. If you talk about any business, okay, I, I'm going to involve a few businesses. I'm sure some of you are involved in some few businesses, but every business have to evolve to become relevant. If you believe it, you know, okay, I'm, I'm a real estate guy, and, and we're building one of the largest development ever built, which is the Dubai Creek. It's two, two, two and a half times downtown. We used to talk to master planners, you know, SOM, Chicago, I don't know, DP architect in Singapore. No. First thing is that digital master planning. We have to learn what's digital master planning. If you don't get digital master planning right for the Dubai Creek, it will be irrelevant. Which means that how the whole society connect, building people, air conditioning, social shops, Everything is connected with everything. So there's a, an incredible backbone. It will be the first time done. So I think we're reaching an agreement with one of the big firms because we want somebody to invest in this. And we're willing to invest, but you know, there's so much learning, somebody got to own this. So even when we design this thing, it's completely different. It's not, it's not about the one bedroom and the two bedroom and the park. That's we all know how to, to deal with. But in seven years' time when it's open, how relevant is it? And digital, what makes it relevant? But the truth is that I think, I think for me personally, I just see the change because I live with my kids and I, and I see what's happening. And honestly, I don't want them to be better than me. <laughs> it's true, you, you, know, you either care that you have to be relevant and be up there all the time. And it's not easy because age doesn't help. These guys can process information so fast. And they don't have kids to worry about, so I have kids to worry about. <laughs> you know? But, but it's, it's fun, and, and I really think it's our duty to be relevant. It's our duty to learn. It's our duty. I mean, look, look, your industry. What change have taken place? I am, I'm not sure if we in Amar, after two years, if 95% of the people are going to be relevant in the company. I'm very serious. 
So you see that I moved, you know, we, we moved in with Aramex, then we, we've uh, got involved with Americana because we are keen on their logistics system because it's, as I said in the past, it's three times Aramex logistics system. Uh, and then we moved with the one billion tech fund and we launched Noon. And, and today we have a very interesting announcement uh, after the speech uh, as well. So if you, if you were to look at, at this, it's, I think it's a process that I think it's our duty also to promote the move. But also when I started my real estate business, the only business I knew was, to be honest with you, I was just government, I was a government employee. I did a little bit of aluminum business and all that. But do we have the ability to learn and move forward? So when I built this tall building, my CV was not good, <laughs> right? And I, I, I told people, I said, you know, my dad is not an engineer from Harvard. I'm not an engineer, I'm a finance guy. And Sheikh Mohammed have not really checked my, my credentials to say, yes, we will allow you to build the tallest structure ever built by man because you have the right records. No, I think like all of you, we just have passion to learn, passion to move forward, and we have to go and get the best people. And, and that's actually what I'm doing the past one year. I spent more than 70% of my time only on, on, the, on the search. Some we get them right, some we get them wrong. That's, that's okay. But let's, let's jump in. So we would like to be relevant. We'd like to move forward. I think the world is happening right there, right in front of our eyes. We see it every single day. It's happening all the time. So in, in the region, the, the, the real issue is, in, in my um, uh, views, social media is flying, WhatsApp is flying, e-commerce is moving forward. We believe in digital, but we have one issue. Ownership, 350 million people. We don't own anything. It bothers me, it bothers me. Because all of you know more than anybody else is that those people who are going to digitize, they will own data. Those who own data own economy. So I think 350 million people, if I talk about the Arab world, we need to own something, right? So that's why when I spoke in, in Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed's uh, majlis, I said, please, can you just take 5% of your annual profit and just invest in digital and technology just for us to learn? Because that's the way to go. So I'm saying all these great companies that have been built, fabulous. I mean, amazing. These people are just amazing. But what do we have? An e-commerce company owned by a venture fund or, or VC out of South Africa? That's great. He will exit and sell it to some guy I don't know where. That's great. But what about us? We're short of money, short of brains, short of market, short of hunger. So that's really the story behind, behind what we do. And the story behind of what you all do. I think we need to contribute to our society. More than the data as well. It's just this is a business that we have to get involved in. We get involved in real estate, we get involved in banking, we get involved in education, but this one business that covers it all. And I think it's our duty to get involved. So, um, yeah. does every startup have to come from a garage in California? <laughs> Fabulous. I mean, I respect these people and I love them to death. Does every, every funding for any venture have to come out of a, a VC out of the US? These guys have done enough. What about us? Keep in mind that also a lot of our, not a lot, but most of our profit comes with zero tax. So we've got a lot of available funds. So I think, maybe I'm wrong I'm asking these questions, but that's, that's the truth. That's how we feel. That's most of everybody feel in this room and you know, in the region. Is it easy to do? Of course not. You have to get ready to compete. You're starting, you'll be making mistakes, you name it. But it's the same thing. I mean, is it easy to build this, this tall building? You don't know what happened every time there's wind in the city. You don't know what happened, what happened to my heart rate. <laughs> Seriously, earthquakes. Every year we have a firework on this building for seven minutes. I have no blood in my body because there's so much fire on the building, it's unbelievable. But I'm saying, these are things we have to do. We have to try. I'm not going to tell you about the fire stories because they were really scary. There, was, there were a few of them, yes. 
so ownership is critical, and it's important that we get involved. At the same time, the importance of data. How you behave, what you shop, what jokes you like, you know, what's our social patterns, all of that, all of that, and so much more. I think it's okay, but we just want to be part of this. I don't think there's any law in the world to say no to that. And the whole thing, I mean, but, but for us to achieve this, I think, first of all, I'm so happy that all of you are involved in our region, which is really exciting. You bring in your brain power, your, your knowledge, and, and you spread it around. That's really fabulous. But at the same time, I think we, as uh, in the Arab world, we also have to do more. I think our education system really have to fit that, that you know, our young people are fit for the job market. And that's why I'm saying 95% of some of our staff in three years' time, they might, might not be relevant. And that's exactly what happened a year ago to our marketing department. 45 people, we have to let them go. We tried to teach them, teach them digital, it didn't work. We said, guys, start from scratch. I think they're moving probably out of the company. So our digital team and marketing team, they'll get out of the company because we cannot let them listen to our nonsense of building a building and putting the bricks and engineering. That's all boring stuff. Of course, the whole thing about, you know, are we going to finance these ventures? How are we going to finance them? What about rules and regulation? But I think that events like this promotes the whole digital language, promote ideas, more people will get involved, more people will be available to fund. They say, oh, Mohammed Labar is talking about digital. This thing might, might have some, something positive happening. Let's look at it. So I think it's our duty also to promote the whole environment and get people involved which is more and more people involved as we, as we speak, but we are blessed that we have such a, an incredible demographics in the region with young people, which will help us go through this uh, change. It's interesting, before I, I finish, um, you know, His Highness was talking about, um, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed was talking about celebrating 50 years after the oil finishes, and we can celebrate if we really invest right. And I think investing in the digital world and the digital economy is really critical. We have 50 years, but uh, they are short in the digital age, and we have to move uh, extremely fast. Um, so as I said, you know, we've done, we've done noon, we've done the logistic part of, of our strategy, we've put in a billion dollar fund for uh, investment in technology, um, uh, we took a, a piece of Neteporte, Ux Neteporte in, in the past, um, but I'm, I'm quite uh, happy and pleased uh, to announce today that uh, we've just signed a, a JV agreement with uh, Ux Netaporte for the Middle East on a joint venture basis, uh, which is really um, incredible for the luxury um, market that, uh, that exists in the Middle East, which is, I think that market is today is about $10 billion, but also shopping habits, as we all know, is, is changing as well. So um, my dear friend, uh, um, uh, from uh, Neteporte, uh, CEO Federico uh, Marchetti will, will be chatting with you and will give you more details about you know, his, his, his environment and what's happening in, uh, in Ux Neteporte, but at the same time, uh, he will shed some light on, on our partnership for, for the Middle East, which should start uh, 12 months from, uh, from today. Uh, I would like to, uh, to end and, and, and thank you so much for your energy, for your involvement uh, in, this, in this subject, and I uh, also uh, I want to thank you for um, joining us uh, today, and, and I hope that you have uh, more of this, these gatherings. We have another gathering, I think, in a few months' time, where it will be a little bigger, a little bit more exciting, um, to really uh, keep the culture of change happening, and, and I think keep the flow of information also uh, between all of us, because the change that, that, you, that you see in your field is so much more than, than, than what we see, and, uh, and I hope that uh, I catch up with you. Uh, during those moments or some other moments in the future. I thank you again and I wish you a good morning.